Hello, welcome to the Gaming Rules Teach and Playthrough of Keyflow, designed by Sebastian Bleasdale, Richard Breeze, and Ian Vincent. My name is Paul Grogan, and I'm here with good friends of mine, Matt Evans from Creaking Shelves. Hello. Uh, Tom and Rachel from Slicker Drips. Hello. Hi. And yeah, so we're going to be doing a full teach of the game, and then we're going to be playing through it, uh, because this is not going out live. Just in case I get something wrong, nobody is here to tell me that I've done something wrong. So turn on Klingon subtitles just in case. Uh, Richard Breeze is actually downstairs. I guess if we get stuck on a rule, we could <laughs> go downstairs and ask him. But I, 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 I should know how to play. Um, so Keyflow is the latest game in the Key series, which came out in 2018. Um, it follows a very similar format to the other games in that it's played over four seasons. So spring, summer, autumn, uh, and then winter. And at the end of the game, we're gonna is the one with the most points who wins. Okay, we're going to be developing our, our little village, we're going to be collecting the resources, we're going to be moving those resources around. If you have played Keyflower, this is a very similar game to Keyflower. Uh, right, we've done the setup, sort of. We've each got a home card. Now the home cards are all slightly different, and we've also got a storage card. Okay, now if you look at your home card, you'll notice that there are two rectangular bars. The top one is what you've got at the moment. Okay, if you were to upgrade this card by putting an upgrade tile over the top bit, you now have the bottom section instead. And you'll notice that there's a three in a coin icon, that is victory points. So any time that you see a number in a yellow coin icon, that is victory points. So if I did that, I, I, I will get three points at the end of the game. But there's no score tracker during the game, you just count your points at the end. Okay, um, we've sorted the cards out. Uh, depending on the number of players in the game, you, you take out certain cards at the start of the game. We've already done that, so we are all ready to go. Uh, the game, as I mentioned, is played over, over the four seasons. Um, but we do something special with these Winter K cards to start the game. Okay, So at the start of the game, um, we basically shuffle the, the Winter K cards. And each player is going to get five of these at random, so let's deal these out. Now, what's gonna happen is at the end of autumn, i.e. the start of winter, one of these cards that you have, you will put directly into play. Okay, so one of these cards will be yours. The other four of them will get shuffled into the deck and then will get drafted and you may get one. So one of them is gonna be yours. Now, what, what theoretically you should do is you should be looking at these five cards, deciding which is the one that you're going to keep, or at least having a bit of an idea, and then working towards it. But you don't have to make the decision of which one to keep until the end of autumn, okay? Uh, and at the moment, none of you know how to play the game, so a lot of these icons won't make any sense. Um, but, and we'll, we'll come back to these later on. Uh, there's no real disadvantage for... It's the normal one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, the, Reset the game. I, I don't mind showing you more, what mine do to give you an idea of how the iconography works, and then you'll be able to work out your own. They are all explained in the rulebook, in the winter cards section, mm -hmm. so feel free to pass this around later and, and have a look at what you're going to do. But these are your five winter K cards. They're not in your hand to start with, they, but they, they are yours, right? Cool. And as I say, at the end of autumn, one of them, you actually put it directly into play, and then the other four will get, will get shuffled in. Right, the rest of the setup is the spring cards, everybody's gonna get six. And because we've taken out the ones for five and six players, there should be exactly the right number, if we've done it right, <laughs> uh, for everybody to have six. I'm just gonna put them in piles here for now. So two. Yes! Right, so everybody's got six cards. In summer, everybody will have seven. In autumn, everybody will have eight. And in winter, everybody will have nine. Okay? So these are, these go in your hand. All right, so this is your hand of cards for spring. And what's gonna happen is phase two of each round, and a round is a season, is the drafting and playing cards. Okay, so what's gonna happen in phase two is, you're gonna choose which one of those cards you want to keep, and you keep that in your hand, and you pass the rest of them to the player to your 
left. We're going clockwise in spring, as you can see on the back. Okay, so you keep one card in hand, pass the rest to the left. We all do that simultaneously. And then, when we're all ready, we reveal and play our chosen card. Okay, that will repeat until we've got rid of all of the cards. Okay. okay. Then there are a few more phases that we will do afterwards. Okay, but I'll explain about the cards now. There's two main types of cards. Okay, there are village cards, which look like this with green stuff on. And there are keeple cards that are white with keeples on. You notice that these keeples are green keeples. All of the keeple cards in spring are green. Okay. All of the keeple cards in summer are yellow. All of the ones here are orange or red, I think. And all the ones here are blue. So you will never find any other keeple cards in spring. And you will never find any green ones anywhere else. This is your only chance to get green ones. Should you have an objective that gives you points for green ones, for example. This is your only chance to get them. Okay. <clears throat> Let's do the village cards first. Right, so if you were to choose a village card in the draft, then when you play it, there are two types of village cards. There's ones with roads on mm -hmm. and ones without. The road ones go in the top row of your village. So that one will either go to the left or right of that. Okay. It has to touch at least one of the cards. So it's got to go either there or there. Okay. If you choose to take a river, a card with a river on it, I call them river cards, but that's not what the rulebook calls them. It goes offset slightly by half a card. So you see that the roads line up, okay? So if I was to take that one, I could put it there. If you then pass me another bunch of cards and I take that one, that can go there. Okay. And then if I take another one of these, it can go there. Ooh. So I can leave gaps. As long as every card is touching another card, you, you can leave gaps. Okay? Right. What do the cards do? If a card has a rounded corner box on it, that is an immediate bonus that you get when you play the card. Will that be all rivers have those? Or is it? I believe so. Cool. Yes. I don't believe any of the Bit cards with roads on have it. So, yeah. uh, this is, I will take a saw tile, and when it specifically tells you which tile to take, you take one of the double-sided ones. Okay? Uh, and... A wood resource. And any time you get a resource like that, it has to go on the card that generated it. Okay? This one is two random skill tiles. And we are using a bag which does not come with the game. You're supposed to put these face down in a, in a pile and draw from them. Um, but I think it works better with a bag. Okay? What's in here is a random mix of the three different skill tiles, but you don't know what you're getting. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I think the rules are that you can actually keep them face down. I never do, but yeah, you, you can keep them face down so people don't know what you've got. So that's two random skill tiles. That's a skill tile and a gold. Gold is a special resource that can be used as if it was any other resource. It's slightly more valuable and it's worth a point at the end of the game. And that's so the orange. Orange. It's this. Yes. yes. Right. So that's those cards. They go into here. Cards with animals on do absolutely nothing at all. Until the end of the game. Okay? And at the end of the game, if you have a scoring card that says two points for every pig, that's when they come in. But they right. don't do anything during the game itself. Okay. I'm just going to place these here as if, as if this is what I've done. Okay. Right, okay. The keeple cards. Okay. When you play a keeple card, you actually play it above one of the buildings in the top row of your village. Okay? Well, I say your village, that's not exactly true. The arrows on the card tell you where you can play it. So, this card I can play in my village or Rachel's village because it's got an arrow pointing to the left. Right. This card I can play in any one of these three villages. Right. Okay? Very so, deep. I could play it on my own and I'd put it there or I could play it there. Now, if I play it there, I get to use that card. I get to do the ability of your card, but you keep this. You're gonna keep this card. So I've given you a pig by, by doing that, okay? So you're gonna keep this card, but I've been able to use that building. So you can only interact directly with the players to your immediate left and right, okay? Each building within a uh, around a season, can be activated a maximum of three times. 
the first time it's activated can be with any card. So I, even though that's got two keepers on it, that could be the first card that I play. The next card that is played on this building to activate it must have at least two keepers. So I can now not mm -hmm. do that. Yep. And the third one must have three on it. Yep. Okay. And that applies wherever you're, wherever you're placing it. So yeah, so the first one has to be at least one, the second one has to be at least two, the third one has to be at least three. Does anybody have a card on hand, in hand, with a little keeple icon on? No. Okay, right. Some of the cards in yes. the game, right. Some of the cards in the game give you these keeple tokens. These have two uses. The first use is that you can use them when playing a card to act as if it was, so that is now a three meeple card, right? And it goes on there and that's then discarded, right? The number of meeples, uh, keeples on a card does not change the power of the action whatsoever. It's, you always just get to do the action once. The number of keeples just indicate whether you can play the card or not. So yeah, you will have to be looking at the buildings of your neighbours, because if you want to use the abilities on those cards, then you'll be wanting to play Keeple cards in their village. But by doing so, as I say, they, they will get the Keeple cards at the end of the season, will disappear and go under your storage card. Ah, uh, okay. Okay? The official rules of the game are, you can only look at cards under your storage card at the end of a season. Okay. My memory is terrible. <laughs> so I don't normally play with that rule. I can see why the rule is in there. It's to reduce uh, slow play by people constantly checking what they've got. Okay. Okay? Uh, but I'm more than happy to play with the... Because for me, the last time I played, it didn't really slow the game down. I had a card which was going to give me points for cows, and I had, I had no idea how many cows I got, because my memory's terrible. So I just went, how many cows have I got? Oh, I've got four. Okay, done. Yeah. It didn't really slow it down. But if you've got people who are constantly looking at what cards they've got... As I said, the official rule is you can only look at them at the end of the season, but I'm happy to, to be lenient on that. Right, so that's the Keeple cards. That's the buildings. What do the buildings do? Well, the buildings will do things when you activate them. And what we have here, our home card, they're all similar, is transport one resource from one card to an adjacent card and then perform one upgrade. That's what that is. If, if, okay? if this was upgraded, it would be transport three resources, which could be one resource, three spaces, or yeah, three resources, one spot, or whatever. So how do you do an upgrade? Any card that has more than one rectangular section on can be upgraded. And to upgrade, you pay whatever is in the arrow. And if that includes resources, those resources have to be on that card. Yep. If they include... Skill tokens, the skill tokens are never placed on cards. They're just, they're just yours, okay? Um, and then you take an upgrade and you put it over there and next time you use that or next time somebody uses that, they get the special ability. Why do these have ones on them? Because alternatively to doing that kind of upgrade, you can upgrade an upgrade by doing that. Doesn't cost anything, okay? So as an, using one of your upgrades to flip a tile over is essentially getting you an extra point at the end of the game, okay? There's a new type of card that comes in in summer, the boats. I'm not gonna explain how those cards work until we get to summer. Um, I spoke to Richard last night and I said, this is what I'm gonna do for the video and he agreed. And he said, that's normally the way he teaches. Knowing the rules for how the boat cards work now, is probably not gonna change what you do in spring at all. In autumn, there is a new, another new type of card, which again, I will explain when we get to autumn. Uh, and then winter is just more of the same. So, what have I missed? Have, have, I got, have I got any questions so far? I'm missing a card, that one. So I've explained the road cards. I've explained the river cards, and I've explained the keeple cards, which is all you've got. What you've probably got is you've probably got cards in your hand that you've no idea how they work. So for this demonstration, if you've got a card in hand that you don't know how it works, pop it out, I'll explain it, and as I say, I don't think it's gonna 
give the other players that much of an advantage. Uh, not the winter ones. Well, I can explain the winter ones. Do you want me to go through my winter ones here? Maybe, because I might want okay. to try so, and think about what I want to collect. And I'm going to just check in the rulebook. They are all explained in the rulebook. Oh, yeah. Okay. So the Mercer's Guild, I will get... Oh, sorry. Whoever has this card in their thing, village, at the end of the game, will get five points for each set of iron, stone, and wood resources that you have allocated to the Mercer's Guild. Those resources need to be on that card. Yep. And remember, gold is a wild card. So gold can be on this card and is a wild card. Yeah, at the end of the game, what you do is you allocate your stuff to your scoring cards. So if I've got a... Oh, here we go. Right. There you go. Right. These are two winter cards I have in my hand. Craftsman's Guild. For every set of red, yellow, and blue keeples that I have, I get three points. This one, for every green keeple I have, I get two points. Now this was a bad example, because I was, I was about to explain that you can only allocate things to one card. So if that was green instead of blue, mm. any, keeple, any green keeples I allocate to this card in scoring cannot also be allocated to this card. Okay, right. Scribe, that to me looks like every full set of skill tokens is mm -hmm. seven. Wow. And the windmill is actually... Um, Every five resources is five points, or if I upgrade it, okay. then every five resources is seven points. That so upgrade cost... Again. Yes, yeah. I believe so. That upgrade cost, by the way, is any skill tile. Yeah. So if it's got a question mark in, it means pick one at random. If it doesn't have a question mark in, that's a cost, and it means okay. anything. So that's the slight difference in the iconography. If you've got a cost of multiple... Oh, no, hang on, no. No, 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 I got this wrong. They don't. They need to be allocated to the Mercer's Guild. They don't need to be on the Mercer's right. Guild. So oh, they could be anywhere. Yeah, they they could just need anywhere. to be on for upgrades. Yes. So kind of like at end game scoring, at we'll end game take scoring, all of the stuff we and have, and can move it around. Yeah, exactly there. right. Cool. Exactly right. So that's what mine do. As Question. A, yeah. Um, if you've got multiple of those, they all have to be of the same type in an upgrade arrow. I don't believe so. No, I believe the white square I is anything. Imagined not. And if you have two white squares, I'll double check that later. But I'm pretty sure it's yeah, it, it it's two of anything. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, has anybody got any spring cards that they want to ask about that they're not sure what they do? Mine are quite straightforward. Okay, has anybody got any winter cards that they want to look up yes. in the rule book? Yes. Just to give you an idea of... Remember, only one of the winter cards <coughs> is definitely yours. Yeah, but you might get more. But you might get drafted. more of them. Yeah. You might get more. So um, to use headings. Oh, I did, I did say these, these have got two uses, okay? After we have all done our, of our, our card playing, there is a keeple token allocation phase, which is not what it's called, but Matt's got the rule book, so I can't remember. Um, <laughs> basically, any keeple tokens that you have left, and you can keep them if you want to, but if you want to use them, you can use them on your own buildings to activate them. So if this had been used once already, then... In the keeple allocation token phase, I could say I'm going to use that again. Um, because it's the second time it's been used, it has to be turned. Yeah. If I wanted to use it a third time, I'd have to use two keeple tokens. So that building has now been used three times in spring once by somebody, and then twice by me. So, yes, keeple tokens allow you to use your own buildings afterwards. Are they spent then, or do they go into your thing as They're well? They're spent. Okay. Yeah. Right. So I'm going to look at my winter cards and have a bit of a think about what I want to do. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Who wants to see it? Yeah. Thanks. Are they in alphabetical order? Uh, I have no idea. Okay. I would say no. I think the group would by type. Similar types. Yeah. yeah. Immediately obvious. Oh, okay. So you two have played Keyflower. A long, long time ago. Yeah. You've played Keyflower? And Keeper. Right. But only once yeah. each. So. Yeah, because this is very similar to mm. Keyflower, but instead yeah. of bidding, it's drafting. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so for all ready, we are in spring and we are in phase two, which is the drafting mm. and playing of cards. 
Do you say gold's a wild? Gold is a wild, and any gold which you do not allocate to another card at the end of the game is still worth one point. Okay, so you keep one card in hand, and you pass the rest to your left. I take okay. the right card. Yes. And then, everybody plays the card, so I'm going to put that there, and I get two random skill tokens. So, yeah, I think these are supposed to be kept face down, but... My memory is so bad, I'm just going to put them face up. Don't, uh -huh. don't use that to your don't advantage. Know. Yeah. <laughs> You're going down now, Paul. <laughs> Anybody else get anything? Oh, no, no. Right, okay. So pick up the cards you've been dealt, uh, you've been passed, and uh, and go again. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this time you, me up, you might start looking at what other people have got. Question. What would happen? Oh, sorry. Go on. Uh, well, uh, if multiple people play, uh, yeah, people, that's my question. That's, that's the question. Order. Yeah, so uh, great minds. <laughs> this, this is the bit where there's two ways to play. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a friendly version, and there is a slightly less friend friendly <laughs> version. It, it's kind of there's a version that's used in tournaments, and this bit is. Uh, I am referring to the rulebook specifically for this because I want to get it right. It's simultaneous play. Uh, first of all, you cannot use a card that was played this turn. So if I play a keeple card and you play a new building, mm -hmm. I cannot play that keeple card on your building this turn because they were played at the same time, right? So you can only use things that were already in play. You cannot take advantage of any upgrades if those upgrades happened this turn. Similar principle, right? It wasn't like that at the start of the turn, so you've got to use it. Um, but when you check to see whether you are allowed to play the card, you only check what was there at the start of the turn. So right now, if you two both wanted to use this, and you both played a card with one keeple on it, you're both fine. Oh, um, okay. You both can. Sure. Because at the moment, it has no keepers on it, therefore it needs one. Nice. Okay? If you're playing the competitive, well, the slightly more competitive version, the number on the cards basically means that the players have to declare what they're doing in that order, and therefore, oh. if you say you're using it, you might decide differently, okay? But we're just gonna play simultaneously, play. you can both use it, but then okay. two cards go on it. Okay, does that mean then you The next one must be three. Uh, yeah. yeah, okay? Fair enough. So it's Fair the enough. number of cards that are already there that indicate yeah. the cost. Uh, oh, there is another rule I just noticed. You can choose not to play the card that you've drafted, discard it out of the game, and take a keeple token instead. Okay. Okay, right. So, let's have a look, see what we got. If you generate resources on someone else's card, where do they go then? On your home card. On the home card. Good question, yes. That was another one I was wondering. Yes. Um, <laughs> Thank you for producing these resources. <laughs> in my village. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to keep that one. That's the one. Do like drafting. You're giving me that card. <laughs> okay. You, you're aiming for something, by the way, Tom. Sheeps. Get to keep all. I get one of those. Yep. Uh, you give me a. But there's nothing on it, Tom. You haven't given me you anything. Get a blank. So what you do? <laughs> you, keep you stack them like that, oh, so you that you can that. see that there ah. are there are two on there. And a random skill token. Right. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I don't know why. There's a quick look at his winter cards again. I want to go and visit your corridor, but you're too far away. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get tired on the way there. Um, oh, oh, God, yes. Do you have to yes. do all of the action if I can't upgrade? No. It doesn't matter, does it? No. <laughs> oh, I forgot about the arrows. Oh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, some of them 
Yeah. Have arrows left and right, but not, not your own. Oh! Yeah. So... Um, that's fun. Wait, wait. Oh, yeah, no, I remember. That's okay. Okay. And I'm going to play that card. I'm going to play that there. I'm going to place that there. So I'm going to get a wood, which goes on my home tile. So I feel like that was a mistake. A sword. So you can transport one resource from one space to another space. And, yeah, and you can there. upgrade if you were able yeah. to. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Why is nobody coming to visit my village? Guaranteed there's nothing there other than... Paul, we've all come to the village <laughs> that, that's today. True. <laughs> that is true. Uh, This is a good idea, but screw it. <laughs> okay. Cows. Oh, no, I'm going to put it there. Because I want that there, and I get one of those. Um, mm -hmm. Ale house. So the slash means all. Yeah. So um, I. Do a move, yeah. And then I can upgrade this. Oh, he's doing an upgrade. So you're spending the stone and the iron. Yep. Those go back in the supply. Take one of those, and then I can put it on all there. All the moves, which is really useful in my huge village. <laughs> There's your home and the miner next door. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just got a farmer. That's true. <laughs> This is coming all the way back around to me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm going to put this in. I'm going to observe what my right and neighbour did and do something similar. I'm going to transport that to there and then I'm going to upgrade. I've, I always knew I was an inspiration to people. <laughs> Trendsetter. <laughs> you're doing a, oh, you're upgrading your workshops. Tom's. So you use Tom's home to transport. Your stuff. Anything, but oh, anything. but then you did the upgrade. No. So that workshop is looking <laughs> very appealing thing. Oh wow! So you get one of each. Yeah, you, don't, can't, don't you can't reach. You can't oh. reach in your face. Too far away. <laughs> I've been hearing such wonderful news from, from my neighbours, though. <laughs> don't forget, if you don't want a card, you can just throw it away and take a keeple token. Oh. I'll, I'll take that and yeah, I think that's get okay. a random resource. Can I have a random skill token? Yeah. 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 It's unofficial bag. Oh yeah, it's got time. Uh, right. No, wrong one. <laughs> oh. You could do three moves, Paul. I assume you can't can move that black from there. Uh, you have to I can't. Move. You can make the. Oh, you can. Oh, yeah, yeah, you go to there and then to there. The roads aren't yeah. functional. No. I want mine. Getting rid of it for a yeah. token. I'm going to use that. Can you do that? Sorry, it's got two, two on it. The, oh, there's yeah, one. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. at the bottom. It's the number of cards. Oh, right. Yeah. It's not the. Apologies if it wasn't. I thought yeah. that made that one more expensive nope. or something. No, nope. right. Uh, and I get sense. a. It's like I'm collecting skill tokens. I don't know why you'd be doing that. <laughs> um, it's like I've got the craftsman. What? <laughs> right. So that is the end of phase two. So phase three, anybody who has keeple tokens. May now use rage. But we don't have to. No, you don't have to. Okay. So the keeper token is oh, yeah. yours. You could play it on here if you wanted to. You could not play it on here because there's already yeah. two on there. Um, okay, then we remove keeper cards and tokens. Yep. So they go into your storage. So all of these people, all of those people, buried, get, get, by get, get placed okay. in there. They have been used. Um, they're, they're gone now. At the end of autumn, if, if it was the end of autumn, we would now choose our thing, but it's not. And then at the end of winter, we would perform final scoring. So that's it, we're now in summer. Right. So time to explain some of the cards which appear in summer. So we have the yellow meeples, but we also have these boats. Okay, so boats are cards which are river cards, so they will go in the bottom. 
and they basically give you a special ability which you have for the whole game. Okay? Cool. Uh, let's go through them now. Uh, and I don't know which ones we have because we've random. You don't use all the cards in this game. Some of them were taken out at random. Oh, you and, and, keys, and we have randomly only got two of them. I don't think we're supposed to know that we've only got two of them in, but it's fine. <laughs> this, this demo is fine. So we have Mansfield Arc, which basically means uh, each pig can be scored as if it was two sheep or vice versa. So at the end of the game, you can convert pigs to sheep. I imagine for sheep, the purpose of scoring sheep are less good. We need more of them. Brainwave. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this is the uh, slightly confusing one. Right, the Brainwave boat allows the owner to play any keeple card that depicts one keeple and a keeple token or depicts two keeples as if it had three arrows on it. So any card that has a keeple and a keeple token, or that has two keeples on it, has all three arrows on it. Right. Oh, okay, it adds the arrows. Okay, it adds the arrows to a card, so if the card has that on it, it yeah. I haven't seen it. Um, this allows card. you to play these cards in your own village or these your neighbours. No. Um, maybe it means if, if you've got a one and you've put the token on it. Yeah. Is that what... Yeah. No, it oh. means... There's tokens printed on them. There's tokens printed on it. Right. Does that mean you gain one of those tokens? Um, it means that... Let's just check that. One of the winter cards is kind of referring to that, and I just thought, that's sorry, I won't score that one. <laughs> uh, yeah, cards with keeple tokens. So a number of the keeples on a keeple card can be increased by playing a keeple token. We've covered that. Yep. What about if it has a keeple token on there? Here. Keeple tokens indicate that the player who played the keeple card can take a keeple token... And you may immediately use that keeple token on that card if you wanted to. It is otherwise a one. Otherwise, it's a one. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. And what this is saying? The number of big coloured ones printed yeah. on it. Yeah. Right. Very okay. Good. So we are in summer. This time we are passing counterclockwise. I'm saying counterclockwise because I believe anticlockwise is a British term, and we're Americans. And we're Americans. So no, happy I've got Thanksgiving. Yeah, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> I have one follower in America, so for them, <laughs> I'm saying counterclockwise. <laughs> I did my um, as a side. I did my live Q and A earlier this week, and yep. it, it was I had somebody from Jesse was on from Malaysia. There was a few people from England. There was a couple of people from America. It was quite nice. It's nice. just you know the yeah. hobby's very uh, international, but it's nice when you get people from. You know, different time zones popping in to say, oh, yeah. three, four, five, six. Did we do it right? Seven. We did. Right. So seven cards each. Professional game setters. <laughs> so, have your seven cards. If you got any questions about any of the cards and what they do, just ask. Good lord. But it's one of those games where the iconography, once you know it, it, it it's pretty simple. Wow. Yes. These get a bit more powerful, don't they? Well, it, it's summer. It's, of it's, course. It's no. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's full of energy. Um, do I just stick with the plan? Is a plan? <laughs> well, <laughs> It's nice to actually play a game. <laughs> I'm so often teaching and not playing, I thought, screw it, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually play. <laughs> nice. Uh, no, wait, this one's for me. Those are for you. More sheeps. The Mansfield Arc. You got it. Yeah, that's how for that. Not that I care about having sheep or pigs. <laughs> So you get one of each resource on the workshop. Ooh. There. That'd be good. Ah. Mm, that would make no difference. Would that be good? Right. Okay. Yeah. Mm. 
I'm just going crazy. Well, crazy for animals. Yeah, I'm not crazy for skill tokens. I, I, I can't remember what a good score is. So. Uh, what do I get these when I use it? If it's a double sonic, you know. Right, it goes back in and then you shuffle the bag up. Ah, okay. So. Uh, and then I get four stone. Four stone. Got enough stone? Maybe. Better when you've upgraded it. I know, but I need the stone to get the upgrade. Yeah. Oh, hello. Of oh, course. Hmm. 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 Okay, let's do that. What's going over there in Tomville? Plenty of buildings, not much going on in there. Yeah. <laughs> if we joined forces, our village would be <laughs> super village. Yeah, we've made a real mistake not staying next to each other. I'll just build all the buildings, you put I'll, all the people's I'll, I'll in there. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to play a hiring fair. There you go, there. Wait. Oh, oh, uh, do I get that or do you get that? You get that. Let's get your short home. You swine! So you can do three movements? Yes. Um, one there. Uh, feels a bit early. Uh, well, I'm not going to need that there, so oh. let's move that there. <laughs> oh, okay. You're not um, having all the animals. Uh, they're not <laughs> they're, they're, they're oh, because oh, they're, they're nearly kissing. Other. Yeah, they are. They're in love. I will upgrade. I can't upgrade that because no, I need a wood. So I'll upgrade this because I need the thing that I can upgrade. It's five points. Yeah, exactly. Well. Uh, I'll upgrade range. I'll upgrade mm -hmm. this. I can't believe you used my house. Wait, how did you use that house? Oh, no, you can't. Oh, wait, that's only me, isn't it? So you have to use your own one. Yeah, that's, it. that's only you. I'm gonna have to give oh, you an animal then. Yeah! Together, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are! I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, glad I spotted that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what is this? I was gonna do that, but. Oh, no, I've got two things I wanna do. Uh... Come on, man. <sighs> this hand is rubbish. Don't say that and then pass it to <laughs> don't, don't worry, Rachel. <laughs> that hand's rubbish too. Oh, wait. <laughs> I want my starting that hand back. <laughs> oh. I'm also putting that there. Yeah. A wood and a gold. So, yeah, so if we were playing the slightly competitive version, yeah. you would have had to decide where you were putting that, and then that might have influenced your decision. Yeah. Yes. You're not quite sure how it would have influenced your decision, but... I mean, he's, he had two people on his. That's yeah, so that's... No, because... So I would have gone first, and then he could no, still no, no. put it in. No, 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 he could still put it in. Yeah. So it wouldn't have... No, but what I'm saying is, yeah, the fact that you used it, I don't think would... No. Yeah, but... Boo to those rules. <laughs> Bad Richard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Richard played it where he was like, oh, right, you've used that, right. Well, in that case, I'm going to do something else. I, I don't <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Who knows? Right. Anyway. Stop messing around, Paul. Do something amazing. Okay. I have done something amazing. Yeah. Do something here. Yeah. Well, it may be very similar to what you did. Because the mason's great, because it produces stone, and then the stone is in the right place, ready for you to do the upgrade. Yeah, it's nice. Which is a... Yes. So I'm going to spend a random yeah. skill token. Resolve on these. Actually, that doesn't need to be there, does it? Because the skills oh. are can come from anywhere. Oh, yeah. oh why do I need this then? I think I played that. Oh. Did I play that? Uh, Naughty. I think you did. No, very much. I'm just a cheater. <laughs> My bad, guys. <laughs> so when we Both of them. Then. I can't Both even do a take back. It was like oh. the first turn. When we know down the scores at the end, it breaks like a, Just take a few points. Oh, I'll lose anyway, I'm sure. That's like my track record with his living. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to do it live in front of an internet audience. Yeah, I know, that's, <laughs> I'm so pleased this morning. Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to edit the video later. Right, now everyone's going to see me lose. I could just refilm an entirely different game oh, yeah. and have you win. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs>
There you go. And they'll never know. No, no, no. I'll just, I'll just film it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, leave those the same. <laughs> It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Right. What have you given me? Well, goodness. Oh, actually, no. This is okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. I'll give that to you. Thank you very much. It's good time. You played that, didn't you? Yeah. Yes. We win. So I do three moving your goods. One. Two. And then we upgrade that little fella. Super smelter. Mm -hmm. uh. What have you left me with? Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Final card? That's Ben. Let's play there. Cool. And we that. We've got three leaves. One. Two, three, and I will upgrade, I think, my apprentice hall. Right. So, people tokens. Anybody go? Oh, yeah. You got loads. Use them if you want. Oh, I'm sorry. Use them. What do I want to use them for? You may choose activate to use them to activate your own buildings. Oh, again? Yes. Huh. It counts as two keeples, which means. Yeah, you I can, can play do any of them. them. But if, if I had a keeple token... Including I one that I don't have a card over. Correct. Ooh. So I could not use one keeple token to activate this again That's because there are already fine. two on there. So you're reactivating your workshop. Yes, yep. le legally. Legally. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the apprentice all cooking. Uh, two random. Two random. Yes. Two. To upgrade some more. Okay. Mm. That's not ideal. Maybe it is. Uh, yeah, I can't write that one. <laughs> we'll find that. I'm going to activate it and get it back and get a skill token. Because my alehouse is both there. Right. Mm. So all people tokens spent now go. All people cards go under your storehouse, and this is your chance to look at what you've got. Try it. And autumn, or fall for my American viewer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have a new type of card that comes into play in autumn, which is the storehouse. Uh, the storehouse will give you points at the end of the game for resources on it. Uh -huh. There you go. And if it's upgraded, it, it's slightly better version. Right. There's another type of card in Autumn, which is this. These are cards which are, ba they have no action. So they, they go in here, but they can never be activated by keepers because there's no action associated with them. Mm -hmm. All they are is end of game points. If you've upgraded. Well, yeah, this one is three if you haven't upgraded it, 10 if you have, right. and you can upgrade it again. So how many points could this card be worth at the end of the game? 20 points. 22. What? Oh, because, yeah, right, yeah so ma the maximum this card right. could be worth is... Pass the test. It was just a, a reminder that you can upgrade, upgrade time. That was yes. good Right. Uh, there's no boats in here. I think there are some boats in winter. I can't quite remember. Um, but yeah, right. So, give me a shuffle. And off we go. You Summer. Can taste it the yeah, I've been doing it, it the whole playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let it out. <laughs> right, so there should be eight cards each. Let's see if we've got it right. That plays pretty fast. Except so before he grinds the hole <laughs> uh, the next day. Uh -oh. oh no! Uh -oh. <laughs> Something went wrong. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's get the cards. What have we done wrong? We're missing two cards. We are. So there the. Four, which ones we took out? 
So the fives and sixes we took out correctly. There's uh, a four. I, and there's another four. Uh, there you go. They must have been the ones you sorted out. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One ball. Yeah. I'm not saying which ball. There's five balls here this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> No. Why well, don't you hold this? Right. Right. So, again, if you've got any cards that you're not sure about how they work, let me know. Otherwise... Now, let's have another look at my winter cards to see what the heck it is I'm trying to do. So, got my eyes on your workshop. Ah, uh, what am I doing? Um, you two play a lot of two player games. Mm -hmm. So, the way that the two player game works is you get slightly more cards, but you can always go to your opponent's village. But the cards with the left arrow are on means you can only use their home and anything to the left of it. Uh, the ones with the right arrow on mm. means you can use it. There you go. Yeah. So it's quite a nice little way of... Well, then you could, yeah. yeah. Come at me and only build one side and then they you get could. the cards. You could, if you are that way inclined. <laughs> uh, right, I'm going to do that one. And we're getting, we're passing to the left again. I remember a couple of minutes ago when we were saying how fast this game was going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> then all of a yourselves. <laughs> So you can convert any one skill token into two random skill tokens. And I am going to get a keeper token, and I am going to get one of each of the basic resources and put them on my home. There we go. Uh, these are my cards. Mm -hmm. Cool. Interesting. Oh, 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 got to. Oh. <laughs> got to pay, got to pay. So when you have these, um, storage cards, mm -hmm. you need, so like, sorry, stone elf, you need the stone mm -hmm. and gold. And the gold. Right? Each combination of stone and gold on that card at the end of the game is yeah. worth five points. Okay. Huh. So yeah, you have to spend your transportation <coughs> points to move <coughs> stuff around. I just need to be able to get stone again. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I don't know. Why. You haven't got many farms over there. <laughs> it's got one bit. <laughs> <laughs> I've been mostly reliant on trade for my food. Uh, I will. Be honest. Let's try something. I guess. Right. I'm going to use my home card. I get to oh, oh, oh! This goes at the bottom. Oh. Yep. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, one. I don't know. I can move three things around. I don't really know where <laughs> I want to move them. So <laughs> exciting. <laughs> Depends what I'm going to get, so I'm just going to guess and put two, three, and I'm going to upgrade that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I said it's in the wrong way, I just moved back. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Smith next to my smelt. Oh, I have done that. There you go. Sorry, you played your thing. I have played my thing. Mm -hmm. Come up into it. Drop it your keep up. Spell. Yes, yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, that goes in the side. Yeah, we both did exactly the same thing. <laughs> 
Uh, and then I get three gold. That's... Okay. Knocking on a rolling. Okay. I see what you're doing. Mm. All of you. Everything <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> Yeah, so this is at the point now where I just want 20 actions on all of these things. Okay. Focus on the plan. Don't worry, he's trying to take on pretty cards. I can't say I approve of you having time for. It's very inappropriate. I can only remember what one of those cards is, and, and you're going for. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've completely the rest given of up on on all of these, which is a, a little unfortunate, but whatever. I'm gonna. What was I doing? Come I was using so this. I've got two. And I'm gonna Gism. put. No. I'm gonna put <laughs> in this one, and I'm gonna draw three more. <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, going to so yeah, clear out the things that aren't sourced so uh, I can draw some. Which I've done first. I'm not good at all. I've lost myself loads of points. Wait, oh, I should be removing really uh, Yeah, but you can that. swap. Uh, one, That's what I just one did. At a time. Yeah, I'll put them uh, all yeah, together. Yeah, it's random. And upgrade that one. <sighs> so. It's a terrible hand. Oh, what is this? I guess I'll take that. <laughs> Ooh, definitely should not have done that. Right, good idea. Uh, and you can only play on someone else's card? Um, mm -hmm. I hope you really want to use some buildings, man. <laughs> I don't have many other options next to this. Interesting statement. Going around. Let's go with that. Just. Yeah, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they get used. They don't get shuffled. Yeah. The ones we don't, we don't get shuffled. Yes. Yes. That makes sense. I'm. Going to the hiring fair again. Use an apprentice hall. So you get, I get the token. You get the token. Yep. And then I can get two things from my back. <sighs> Paul's going to take the last saws. There he is. He's hoarding them. And you. He has got one. Yeah, it's not a saw. Yeah, it's not a saw. I've only got one that's from the back. All the iron. Well. I need something that makes use out of all of these other tokens. Uh, no. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> no, unfortunate. So rubbish as well. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if I do that... Yeah, I could end up stitching myself really here. Oh man, I never want to upgrade this, do I? Oh, that'd be How good. do they need to specifically... It changes the resource yeah. you need. Yeah. Oh, but I suppose gold counts it's better, as that. because yeah, then the gold is worth the point. Yeah. So. Wait, what? Oh, the gold Any would be gold worth... Any gold is yeah. worth the point. But then I'd need to get... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's like I'm yeah. probably not going to upgrade this because I've no wood, so I, yes. I want it to be that one. Yeah, because you can produce the gold. Yes. Because there's no benefit to me yeah. having that one. Oh yeah. So, good country. Uh, I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to play it. I just don't know where. Okay, play the Borrowing your quarry man. Yeah. Quarry man. <laughs> All the gold. gold. Thank you. Oh, 
you with that. You're welcome. Oh, don't spend them all at once. In fact, yeah, can you? <laughs> you can't spend you no, can you? <laughs> well, I, I'd have to no, you've got some people. combine it with that, or I could just throw it away to get one of those. Um, Huh. That's interesting. I'm going to have to use this. Probably better. I'm going to throw mine away to get a keeple token. Francis Hall again. Come on, Souls. Oh, I swore on you. I think. I have to use a bleep noise now. Yeah, you're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> this official Which... rules playthrough for Keith Lowe is getting a bit blue in the air. <laughs> <laughs> right, thank you for that card. I will put it there. And I'll get okay. one of those. Which one uh, of those? your houses shall I use? <laughs> so here's an interesting question. What happens if they run out and you need one? We pop downstairs and have Richard. Um, well, with what one? The specific skill tokens that are double sided. Oh! What happens if you get one? I think you can't. I, th I think he said this. I think I've asked this before. Yeah, There's only three cards in the whole game that give Oh, you. that makes sense. Oh, they they okay. are all now out and they are gone. So, yes, there's exactly the right number. Do I use your terrible new upgrade? Or do I go buy it? Four moves and an upgrade. Four moves and an upgrade. Mm -hmm. One. Two. Has anyone got tux on their cards? They should be like little bonus nope. points. So, so this is exactly the same, but I get five points for it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's just like when they renovate a pub and it's like, it's yeah, exactly well, it's the same, same pub. <laughs> it, just, it just looks nicer. It still does the same thing as it did before. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Sorry, that was only two moves. Okay, so I still have another two moves. Uh, that's what I'm moving. Right, so that's the end of the card playing phase for Autumn. So we now use Keeper Tokens. So I'm going to put a Keeper Token there. Is there any reason to save these? Oh, there are some winter uh, cards that might yeah, trigger there off of them. So I get three moves and an upgrade. I go one, two, three. And an upgrade, I'm just going to flip over one. Interesting. My upgrade titles. So Point. I'm going to put my into for three gold. And then I'm activating this for four moves. One, two, three. Four. And an upgrade. Um, question. Yeah. You two of them. Oh, okay, yeah. So I, I could do that. Which yeah. gets me another one. Yeah. And a thing. <laughs> that person comes out skilled from the top. That's what happens. Thumbs, though. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> but now that's a two person thing, so I need to use both of them to use it again, wouldn't I? Okay. I'm understanding this. Can I look through these? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Paul's very rule. Yeah. <laughs> that's upside down. Uh, meanwhile, all the rest of us can be deciding. Oh, we, are yeah. the, we are now at the end uh, of autumn. So these are... <clears throat> can I do anything with these? If I don't get cards with no, uses for them? No, they're not worth anything at the end of the game. Oh. Nothing is worth anything at the end of the game unless you allocate it, yeah. except for gold. Uh, so yeah, used keeple tokens go. Mm. Cards... <coughs> go. I kind of obviously going to use play the scribe. So do we play it straight away? Yeah, oh. one of them is yours straight away. The invincible. 
So you eight to twelve sheep. How many have you got? One, two, three, four, five. Need some more. Oh, of course, yes. I forgot about that. Sebastian. Pig ship. <laughs> and your sheep can convert into pigs. So. Yes. So sorry, I'm choosing one of these. Like a combo now, right? Yeah, how random. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You are the worst. <laughs> ah, key cathedral. Other key games are available. <laughs> I've heard this one. Or two. There's a few. Yeah. Right. So um, that's it. We we play winter. I don't think there's any new cards in winter. And then we do the scoring. My tea's gone cold. Um, I've been so enthralled. <laughs> so let's see if we've got the right number of cards. There's usually nine each. It's not when they're down from. Nine, 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 nine. Yes, there we go. Have that, have that, and we are you. passing counterclockwise again. Whoa, whoa. Oh, what? <laughs> you clutch. Any cards? Is, is this the number of ships you've got? The yes. sea breeze. Or it's just a lot of numbers. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just a lot of I numbers. imagine that's the number of ships, because that <laughs> was in my stack. Breeze. And I thought, oh, I'll go for yeah. ships. Wow. the number of boat cards that you six, allocate to the sea breeze. Six ships, 32 points. If you allocate four, you get Why 16 points. We? Yeah. Good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, because if you couldn't look at your stack, well, I've suddenly, spoilers, I've suddenly got one that's points for the number of three meeple cards you've got. Yeah. If you couldn't look through your stack, yeah. I, I never knew to look for those. Yeah. yeah. You gotta remember. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my rubbish ones have turned up again. I think I ever got one. Nope. I think I know what that means. I'm just going to look time. it to check. It seems quite hey, good. and I might get more. Or I use the buildings. Yeah, oh. I like that. I love that. Mine. Are you going to give me some good cards, Rachel? Two, three. You have some good ones in there. Five. Still, what everyone's moaning about. It's just these. <laughs> I gave them all the half cards. <laughs> Classic ball. It'll be our turn soon. Yeah, let's have that. That way. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's there. Sea breeze. So these holders are quite nice because you can put it in, but if you accidentally leave on it and you think it might bend, it doesn't. Yeah. It, it will that, fall out before. Out. That's really Is that good. number of cards? Units? Like red, uh, yellow, no, and blue cards. Oh, it's right. the big red, yellow, blue. It is on the cards? three points for each set of red, yellow, and blue keepers the player allocates from cards. From cards. To that. To which that. Is, yes. You get all the things out of here and assign them places. Yeah. Don't you? Okay. So, uh, yeah, it's it's keepers. All right. Very, very good. <sighs> there is an example of scoring, and a card with multiple keepers on it counts as that number of keepers. So yeah. Okay. I'm going to activate my hiring fair. We just wait for my own. Okay. 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 Oh. Okay. 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 Get a keeple token. And I'm going to throw in that. And take three more. Uh, are you going to be good? One, two, one, two three. And then I will upgrade <laughs> my stupid game. It's a shame you haven't got a card. The just pickaxe. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody want a pickaxe? Well, I'll trade you a pickaxe for a. <laughs> Yeah, do you know oh, what I mentioned? Yeah, you, you can trade. 
<laughs> but only when Paul needs to. Yeah, only when I need something. <laughs> so you've not played Keith Allen, did you say? No, I have. You have. It was a while yeah. back then. I have a history of doing very poorly in key games. Okay. It feels like. So we'll see if, that, if I maintain that uh, fine tradition. And I never know why. <laughs> and the quarry man. Get some stone. Oh. Two, three. Okay. Great. Oh, unbelievable. Uh, Where is the pig scoring oh, card? No. Like, hmm? It's very upsetting. It might not be in the game. Well, indeed. No, that's the thing. There are. There is. Oh. oh yeah. Right. All oh, right, Tom. Pig boat. Yeah. Pig boat. That was the boat I needed. Uh, so, otherwise then, what shall I do with myself? <laughs> hmm. Got a good there. Yeah, fine. I have a it's smelter, a hiring fair, and a home. Okay. Turn all your sheep into pigs, can you? Can. Go home. One, two, three, and an upgrade. No, what have I done? Oh, they're going there. This is being played here. Weaver to get two stones there. We uh, start to pick the next one. Mm -hmm. Everybody should have five cards in our five. Yes. Oh. Uh. So this is key flow. Yeah. <laughs> so game. Um, yep. Yep. Uh, I broke my choices. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
There's seven points, isn't it? Keep giving me the goodies. Look at that, whichever you like, go crazy! Oh, now it's pointed to me! Uh, yeah, yes. I've been wanting that for the last <laughs> few turns as well. <laughs> uh, what? Have you got some scoring thing for this? Maybe. Obviously. <laughs> You've got the one what? for that I got, I got the one, yeah. Oh, that's wow. Not that's, that's, not that's crazy. 28 points. Oh, that's the one you've been building for yeah, all the game, right? Yeah, that's the one I chose to take. Wow. Yes. Okay. Paul's, Paul knows what he's doing. I guess I'll use the token on it and get movements as if that's going to happen and then um, I can do an upgrade and wait, get rid of one of these useless pickaxes oh I definitely put one of the doubles in the back I'm sorry because you can't tell <laughs> and then I get yeah. put them finding, over, finding it put is them it's not this fight yeah just put them over flip my sword when I put it over there so there's four swords here. I mean, what's the value of the... Mine's there, mine's the top one. That should be in the bag. There you go, there's a double one. Okay. All the rest are here, I imagine. <laughs> okay, right. So, two cards left. The tension Ooh. is... Uh, uh, is this discarded? Uh, when Tom played it there. <laughs> yes, yeah. Then again, that's a guaranteed three points, but that's a guaranteed eight points. There you go. Thank you. I assume we're giving you the eight point guaranteed right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> play the Emporium. My alehouse and get two little men. And the final card. I have a look in here. The richest stone. Is, oh, interesting. Actually, okay, at least it's a sword. Is it interesting? Could have been worse. Fabulous. Ah, ah. One, two, three, four. Oh, there are some good buildings, Rachel. Oh, the no, buildings are rubbish. What? I can't build that gives you one. Your buildings are stone. Awful. That's not needed. Might have another thing, it's fine. It's three points if I build it. I guess. I guess I could get gold, but it goes on my home. I don't need it on my home. I could do an upgrade. Go for yeah, I'll do an upgrade. You can if you can just always flip one. Oh, yeah. One point. I know. It's the round started. This round started really good, and then like, the last four turns have just been one pointers. Why is that there? Yeah, fun. Yeah. Um, gold is two points, I guess. So, and these tokens are useless. Gold is one point. But two gold. Oh, she hasn't has upgraded it, she? No. I will put that there and uh, see if I get lucky with the draw. Uh, if there's anything left in these are disappointing to have. That is not what I wanted. Oh, but. I'll trade you for Did a you get pickaxe. That's <laughs> <laughs> uh, allowed, right? Okay, so I'll using keeple tokens, I'm going to send this little guy, or these two, this couple, we're going over here, the smelter. Oh, and I got another keeple from there. I get rid of that. Yes. And I'll take three coins. Do that. Get a new keeple. And regenerate. Yes! Is this enough move? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Alright, I generate here. Move. Get gold. I haven't got enough hours to do that. 
I've got all these people, I've got nothing to do with them. No, we haven't. Them. Them. <laughs> so that gives me the saw for three gold. And then that now costs three, doesn't it? So I need two of these guys. To yeah, and then this. One, two, three, four. Oh, great. Nice. Are these, what, uh, are these worth anything at the end? Yes. No, nothing's worth anything. So I won't do anything. Okay. I guess. I so guess. I guess I'll um, put these back. So if we're all done. Because that, that doesn't need to be there, does it? Correct. Yeah, it does not need to be there. Cool. So if we do my scoring first, then we'll go around and we'll do everybody's scoring. Um, so if somebody can remember the number somehow. Right, so let's go through what I've got. First of all, let's do my uh, points that are just visible on cards, which is just five for that and three for that. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I got 11 for that. And now I'm going to do my allocation of stuff. Right, so I'm going to do the scribe first. What did I say? 11. Yeah, 11. Right, my scribe is 28. 39. 39. Right, they are all allocated to the scribe. 39. 39. Right. I have on here four sets. So that's 20, so 59. Mm -hmm. This one's spare, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna allocate two green meeples and those two gold there. Mm -hmm. So what was it, 59 plus eight? 67. 67, okay, 67. Cards with three meeples on. Oh my God, what, what? <laughs> All right, oh yeah, six, sorry. Seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Number 27. 27 onto 67 is 94. Add on this add. On this add. <laughs> It'll tell the total at the end. All oh, right, so you're adding them up. Right, yeah. so you've added the 27 for that. Right, so that those allocated to there. The key guild is cards with a keeple token on and keeple tokens. So I allocate that, that, and that, and those three to there. So that's 15. Okay. That's not being allocated anywhere. That's not being allocated. Resources. So those two can be that. Those two can be wood. And that and that is that. So that's another 10. And then one gold left for yeah. another one. Right. And, and you, have you done your individual upgrades? I have. Yeah, I that, that, right, that yeah. was in the initial 11. So you have 120. Awesome. Except I gave that to Rachel. So, <laughs> <laughs> so actually, Paul, sorry to say, you've got nothing. I, got nothing. <laughs> I think Rachel's going to win. She's got a 120 point head start. Yes. So mine's 120. Right. Rach. So oh, points, yeah. points just on cards yeah. printed. So that's three, four, 24. Yeah, so, so 24 from cards. Yep. Yeah. Printed. Right, allocation. <clears throat> Gosh, what's going on here? Well, they only took all the points cards, so I just thought I'll just do it and see what happens. So, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, hey, 12, 13 12, 13 nice. 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, 12, 13, yeah. 20. <laughs> yeah. Five. Five. And another five, yeah. yeah. That's it. Nice. You have... And a gold spare. And gold. a gold. For an extra one. So one. You have 86. 86. <laughs> right, I haven't done any of mine. So what, what order are we doing things then? Uh, printed Cards. buildings first. So. 20, 35, 40, 43, 46, 47, 50. The Pretty strong start. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, three. Three. So 53 as your base score. <laughs> and then do some allocating. Right, so let's do pigs first. So I've got one. Are you converting sheep into pigs? I think we'll have to do a lot of sheep pig conversion, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Let's get out. 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 Let's get out